Okay, so the last uh, video I did on wind turbine, we went through a little bit on how I set it up and how the system works. And I'm going to go through that a little bit again now, just so that you know what I'm talking about in this video, in case you didn't see the last one. So the power comes in through the rectifier and goes to the charge controller, which sends it down to the battery, charge the battery. If it doesn't need the power, then it sends a signal to the solid state relay. Uh, so that it can divert that power around the charge controller and through the resistive load to ground, which is the diversion load. So uh, the solid state relay gets that uh, signal from the Midnight Classic charge controller, which is the only charge controller I have seen that can, that can supply this uh, PWM uh, signal, which is uh, pulse width modulation. Uh, pulse width modulation is what does the trick here, and that's what allows that solid state relay to act more like a dimmer switch than a light switch or an on off switch. And a PWM signal basically looks like this it's just a bunch of pulses, and the width of the pulse is varied in order to determine how much power is sent through that solid state relay to the, di to the diversion load. Uh, so you know you can see the the top one is is a wider pulse at 90 percent and then that narrow pulse at the bottom would be like 10 percent so the project this week is going to be focusing on the diversion load itself and making it a little neater getting it a little bit more reliable and uh, slightly more sophisticated Okay, so today we've got a bunch of gear out on the electronics bench and doing some testing here. This is, uh, believe it or not, the beginnings of the diversion load update project for the wind turbine. So starting out with this, uh, well, we've got the uh, Arduino and a little LCD dis display attached to it. Uh, you can see it's reading duty and temp. That's duty cycle and temperature. So I want to see how much of this power is being sent through the resistors and what the temperature of the resistors are. This little device here allows for the PWM signal to be read by, uh, well this device reads the PWM signal and then outputs a voltage to the Arduino. Um, and then we got the thermistor and a little resistor circuit here um, that I made for the temperature which works pretty well. You can see it's going up pretty quick when I put my fingers on it and take my fingers off and drops pretty quick. So it reacts pretty well, it seems to be pretty accurate. Um, and it's just a piece of perf board with a thermistor and a resistor attached to it. So a little circuit I made, really, really simple. Um, and then this guy uh, for the PWM signal, this, uh, this guy, unfortunately, it doesn't run on the same voltage as the Arduino. It, I tried it at the five volts and it, it just doesn't do any, it doesn't do the job. So I had to push it up to a little bit higher voltage. Uh, you can see I'm running it at eight volts here. So that means I'm gonna have to come up with uh, another s source, voltage source in there uh, when I actually get it in the box. So anyway, you can see right now I'm running a 50, 52% Duty, duty cycle, and that's what that looks like there. And eight volts here, let's drop it down to the five that the Arduino runs at, and I'll show you what happens. So we were at 52% and now we're reading 29. So we are in fact still at 52%, you can see right there. So 52%, um, that's what it looks like, and it's showing 28. So we'll come back up to the eight volts And yeah, so 51% and we're at like 52%. So it's close enough. Uh, that'll work. So let's go down a little bit and see if we're still accurate. With a 30% and it, that's what 30% looks like. And 28, close enough again. And uh, let's just go up now. 70%. There's 70% on the scope. 
And 69 is close enough. Go for 90%. 90% on the scope. And 89, like I said, close enough. And let's just send it 99.9% .9 and 100% on the display. Perfect. So uh, it works. Unfortunately, um, you know, it, it, you're supposed to be able to use the Arduino itself to read the PWM signal. I couldn't get that to work very well. So I had to use that device there. And it's causing me to have to provide this 8 volts. So I'm going to have to come up with um, a method to do that. Um, so I'm going to have to provide five and and that's what 100 percent looks like by the way uh and then if we back it down you can see this is essentially what the charge controller does to get that solid state relay to act more like a dimmer than a uh than an on off switch um, that's 10 percent and so this thing works pretty well i just could not get the arduino itself to decode that pwm signal um, so it seems to work this way. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have the rest of the project coming up probably in a few days.